Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On August 2nd, Kyungi Province and Daejeon Metropolitan City signed a Sustainable Development Policy Cooperation Agreement to jointly respond to local issues and lead balanced national development. Areas of cooperation include the expansion of support for startups utilizing advanced technologies and infrastructure, as well as support for youth employment and general housing. Having entered similar agreements with Ulsan Metropolitan City, South Gyeongsang Province and South Chola Province, Gyeonggi Province continues to actively pursue exchange and cooperation with other Korean local autonomies. On July 29th, Gyeonggi Province held an online press conference to announce plans for the strict control of illegal structures along mountain streams. To date, Gyeonggi has uncovered 11,727 illegal structures along 234 rivers and mountain streams in 25 cities and counties of the province and removed structures operated by 1,578 businesses, achieving a 99.7% environmental restoration rate. This year, the province will conduct an in-depth investigation of such areas through to August 31st and take strict administrative as well as judicial actions on identified violations so as to prevent recurrence. Kyungi Province recently announced plans to launch on-site public services, an employment and startup support program for career-interrupted women as part of its efforts to improve career security for women. In addition to the on-site public services, other programs for Kyungi women to be implemented this year include job search cost support, the designation and operation of start new job centers, and startup support in phases. To be introduced for the first time this year, on-site public services, in particular, encompass a public job support program for career-interrupted women with work experience in accounting and administration. Their mission will be to provide small business operators with guidance and assistance in national support program participation. Kyungi Province plans to expand pollution reduction support for old diesel vehicles and construction machinery so as to reduce fine dust emissions from diesel engines. Kyungi will allocate approximately 330 billion Korean won this year to facilitate the early disposal of old diesel vehicles and the installation of more CCTV systems to curb related vehicle operation. The province will also support costs for the installation of vehicle emission reduction devices and the replacement of construction machinery. Owners of Level 5 diesel vehicles who wish to receive pollution reduction support can submit applications via the Vehicle Emission Rating System website. Kyungi Province's Private Investment Link Technology Field Startup Support Program has produced successful results in terms of investment inducement and job creation while helping participating enterprises establish foundations for growth. According to a provincial announcement, a midterm assessment of the program revealed that, during the six-month period from last December to May, this program enabled the creation of 53 jobs and investment inducement of 1.4 billion Korean won, as well as 47 cases of intellectual property rights acquisition. This program was introduced by the current provincial administration in June last year to expand startup support beyond the limitations of public initiatives through the involvement of the public sector with its investment and business incubation expertise. According to an announcement made by Kyungi Province and the Korea Kyungi Do Company, the province will introduce low-priced Chuseok gift sets, social value products of the Chak 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 brand, produced by enterprises formed by seniors, village residents, and individuals with disabilities. These Chuseok gift sets can be purchased in advance via the Chak 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 online shopping mall until September 10th. The gift sets will also be sold offline from August 17th through to the end of the Chuseok holidays at the Shihung Dream Shop on the third floor of the Shihung Premium Outlet. 
while visiting the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, or KAIST, in Daejeon Metropolitan City on August 2nd, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung emphasized the importance of investment in science and technology for future growth. With the aim of examining the status of technical personnel education in semiconductor fields, as well as future directions of the semiconductor industry, Governor Lee was accompanied by the Vice Chancellor and the Planning Office Manager of KAIST, among others. During his visit, Governor Lee observed semiconductor production processes and shared views on diverse topics, including the state of semiconductor industries overseas, domestic human resource cultivation for the industry, and related materials and parts development. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.